Good day, everyone. Mining growth system where, where I have been extensively working on in the past for surveying large mines and with the new application for working in the underground mines. Let's look at it in detail how drones are used in various mining applications in our upcoming slides. Professionals who adapt drones into their mining operations quickly realize the significant added value they bring to their industry. Namely, drones in mining improve the overall efficiency of large, large mine site and quarry management by providing accurate and comprehensive data detailing site conditions in a very short time. They also support better coordination amongst teams on site and internationally, offering dynamic oversight of all operations. Above all, this data can be safely produced by on-site workers who have minimal surveying experience at a fraction of the cost of traditional survey methods. In an open pit mine or quarry, a drone survey refers to the use of drone equipped with a downward facing RGB camera to capture images of a site from different vantage points. Out of these images, a photogrammetry software can recreate georeference 3D maps, contour lines, digital terrain models or digital surface models of the mining site. Mining operators can also easily extract the precise volume of stockpiles or areas to be excavated. Some advanced mining software can also generate industry-specific data, such as safety heights, crests and toes, road boundaries, widths, press, slope, length and elevation change. Beyond this, artificial intelligence in the software can automatically highlight those that do not comply with standards or constitute a potential threat to the worker's safety. What are the kind of applications that are used for drones on the mines? The various application lists are as follows. First is the stockpile management. Second is mine monitoring and operational planning. Next is assessment before and after drilling or blasting. And is hazard identification and mitigation. Next is looking at the mine operations. And finally, and one of the most importantly, is looking at the predictive and prescriptive analytics using the data captured from the mines and the drones. Drone-generated data is a series of overlapping images containing geospatial information, which are stitched together through a process called photogrammetry. Each pixel of each image contains its own georeferenced location in space. The maps highlighted below are outputs that can be produced by all the other major photogrammetry software. Drone images are used to recreate highly accurate orthomosaic maps of mining sites and quarries. Each pixel contains 2D geo tagged information and can be used for distance and surface measurement. Photogrammetry software receives overlapping images such as data inputs and combines them to output digital 2D or 3D models point clouds, and more. Each input image that is uploaded to a photogrammetry software has information about the physical objects taken from different vantage points. By combining that information, the software can calculate the exact distances and angles between physical objects and create the digital twins, which is either 2D or 3D models. Digital Tanium model, or DTM, is the one of the most essential data set of excavation monitoring. The significant improvement of computer vision algorithms caused that non-metric images from different sources are applied in geodetic surveying. The drones platforms are a valuable source of inspection, camera transportation, up to visual line of sight. Moreover, the full working systems are creating the unmanned aerial system and deliver more useful image data sets with photogrammetry minimum constraints. The images are overlapping and computer vision matching algorithms allow to photo align and point cloud generate form form specified image data sets. The use of DTM is widely used during the mining application and you should definitely look at it what, what else can you do with the digital terrain model. What are the benefits of drones in mining? To highlight a use case, the drones that we have been using, using in minings, it has come to such a state that the company cannot work without the drone data that is being sent to them. So it has proved that drones are of immense use in the mining purposes. The reason is that first is the highly accurate measurements. The measurements obtained from the drone images are very accurate. 
it's faster and easily repeatable mind surveys at low cost. You can repeat those mind surveys without finding a lot of deviation at a very low cost. And finally, improving worker and site safety management. All these are the benefits of drones in mining. What are some of the mining drones that are already present? The list is Fingtra 1 Vital Mapping Drone, DJI Phantom 4 RTK, Fixed Wing EB, Q200 Survivor, and Idea Forge Netra V series. However, it is encouraged that you design your own mining drone because now the application or the use case for mining are increasing a lot. So it's a very high probability that you will require a very customized mining drone also. However, if you have to create a mining drone or if you have to select a mining drone, what is the requirement? First of all, the budget. So depending on the size of the mine or the increasing size of the mine and the budget they have given you, you can select the kind of drone. The only thing is if you select a low budget drone, you might have to do multiple flights or have multiple batteries to cover the entire mine in a day, which can be very cumbersome. So first of all, budget is one of the biggest constraints about selecting a drone for a mining survey. Next is availability and maintenance. Most of the time what happens is in a mine, you have to do the survey every day. So you have to make sure that the availability of the drone is present if there are multiple drones required and the maintenance of the drone is very much present. The reason being since the drone is subjected to a lot of dust and the environment is very rigid in a mining place, you have to make sure that you maintain the drone every day, otherwise the drone will go bad very quickly. So always make sure the availability and the maintenance of the drone is taken care of. Next is camera. Since all your data depends on capturing images through the camera, you do want your camera to be the best quality. So that's where you do not compromise anything because then it will, it will cause a, a reduction in the accuracy of your images or the accuracy of your data that has been generated. Spares. So spares is very important because what happens since this is a mining environment, uh, many times there is rough landing, there is there is uh, turbulent winds and due to which sometimes the drone may crash. And one of the most important required spares I felt was the body of the drone and the propellers of the drone. So make sure these are always available to you and you do not want a downed drone because just because the, the uh, spares are not available. So always make sure that Whatever drone you are making or whatever drone you select has spares availability readily so as to avoid any stoppage of work when you are doing a mining survey. It should be easy to operate because many times uh, it is many people are going to use your drone. Sometimes you have to train even the mining people to use your drone. So it should be easy to operate. And finally, the software integration. It would be it should be easy that whatever images that you are being stored are easy to be copied and then shared onto drone deploy or fix 4D. So the obtaining the data and taking it to the software should be an easy process because once you take it to that software, again, it takes some time. So you would want to avoid that time for of taking the data from the drone to the software. That's very important to keep in mind. So all these factors necessitate in designing as well as selecting a mining drone. So do keep all these factors in mind. Thank you very much.